Hey, what's up you guys, Clinger. Welcome back to the channel CoCommerce. And this is the Material UI Crash Course. And in this video specifically, we're gonna be going over the checkbox component in Material UI. So let's go ahead and have a look here. So this is our just our app folder here, or our app uh, file here. So let's go ahead. We've already covered the autocomplete and also the button example. So let's go ahead and create a new uh, file here and start our input. And I'm just gonna call this one, whoops, here. I'm gonna call this one here checkbox example.jsx, okay? RFCE is gonna generate our functional component and then inside of our app.js, let's just bring that in. I'll just have this one commented out there. Whoops, I'll have that one commented out and this is gonna be the checkbox example, just like so. Make sure that auto imported there. Let's go ahead and save. Let's give this other way and let's have a look here. So we have our checkbox example, cool. So let's go ahead and kind of set up this here. And I'm just gonna copy over this code here and I'm just gonna take this label here. It looks like we're using the spread operator to label this area dash label checkbox demo. So let's just go ahead and copy that. I'm just gonna paste that in here up here, right there is fine. And then let's just bring these in as well, okay? So, whoops, I don't need that one there. Let's move that one out the way. And let's go ahead and close that one there. We'll paste it in here. There we go. And let's grab this again and we'll throw it in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and save there. We'll get rid of this space and let's have a look at our checkboxes here. So uh, I need to import the checkbox here, I forgot that. So let's import the checkbox from at material, uh, sorry, at MUI slash material. And let's go ahead and refresh here. So there you have it. We already have our different checkboxes here. Uh, one of the properties here on the first one, by default, if we refresh, you can see it's checked. Um, same thing with this last one here. Uh, this one here is disabled. Same with the last one there as well. Uh, we can also change uh, the color here. So again, if we say color, um, secondary is going to be the kind of like that purple color by default. Um, we can also have the success in here, which is uh, by default, it's going to be green. Uh, so pretty easy, pretty straightforward, all the, the check boxes here. Um, Let's see here, we can also change the sizing of it with size. So if we do this one here, by default it should be a medium. So if we say small, have a look here, it should be a kind of a smaller checkbox, there you go. And then if we change it back to medium, we'll save. And then see if we hit, we also have a large as well. Okay, so you can see change the sizing with the sizing property. Um, again, we can change the color there as well. We also have some little icons that we're they're using here. So that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and use uh, one of these as well. So let's go ahead and see, we already installed the icons in the last one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one here, which is the heart. So let's go ahead and save that one there. I'm just gonna paste it in there, right there. And then we need this uh, favorite border. So, and also see checked icon, favorite and favorite border. So basically it's just gonna toggle between the two. So let's just go ahead and import uh, both those. We'll paste them here at the top. And um, I'll shrink that back down. So let's see here. So basically it's just kind of toggling whether or not it's checked. So let's have a look here. Do we need to add anything else? Let's go ahead and refresh. Let's see here. So if we click on it, you can see, pretty cool. So right out the box, this is incredible from Material UI. Lots of functionality uh, with very, very minimal code. We didn't even have to write any logic in here. Just copying it over straight up from uh, Material UI. So let's see what else they have controlled there. I have parent and child ones. That's kind of cool there. Kind of import these as well. Let's see what else they do there. Has a little bit of logic in there. You can just copy and paste that if you'd like. Let's see here. This is kind of cool. Has some form groups in there. Placement, if you want to add um, some text around there. Let's see if we can do that. So form control label. It's getting into some things that we're going to get to a little, on, a little further in the video. But let's go ahead and copy this and we'll have a look at that. So I'm going to paste that in there. Like so, we're gonna to need to import a bunch of things here. So form control, we'll need this form label, this form group, and then this form control label. Uh, do we have the checkbox? I think so. Let's go ahead and see if we have anything here. Ah, there you go, cool. So that's how we can kind of add some text around it. And as you can see, it kind of just groups everything. Um, but the form control label here is actually what the, uh, that has the checkbox in there. So kind of cool, you can you can um, label top, we can have the start, bottom, end. So top, start, bottom, end, pretty cool. So yeah, that's how we can do um, check boxes, all different kinds of check boxes, uh, not just check boxes, check boxes, but also icons as well, um, like, like you saw there uh, before with the, uh, with the heart or the, or the other one as well. So that's kind of how we can handle check boxes in Material UI. So thanks for watching the video, we'll move on to the next one. 